What's up, everybody? I'm Elizabeth with TheDailyCourse.com, and right now I'm chilling with the fine boys of the main. I'm Kennedy. I play guitar. I'm Ryan. I play guitar. John, I sing. I'm Garrett. I play bass. I'm Pat, and I play drums. We all know that you're from Arizona. Why did you guys come up with the main as your name? We were actually on a trip as a group and we were going up north and there was a street called Main Avenue. It just looked appealing and we just decided to go with that, I guess. So as we know that you guys are going on your first tour and you guys are leaving next week, um, what are some preparations that you're doing and what are some expectations you have for it? To kind of get ready for it, we um, kind of started writing things down that we're going to need for just like emergency situations and stuff like that along with like just stuff to keep us entertained and stuff we won't forget and um, we're just kind of looking forward to getting out there and everything. It should be awesome we're going on tour with a band called Brighton and a band called The Morning Light and it's going to be awesome. So If you live anywhere we're going to be touring, definitely check it out. So like I was saying, you guys are a fresh band. Um, how do you guys think you've gone from where you were back then starting a couple months ago to where you guys are today? Personally, a lot of it has to do with uh, sites like MySpace.com and Daily Course and stuff like that. Uh, simply because of networking, it's just so so much easier to reach a larger number of people where you don't have to, you know, physically talk to them. You can you can just talk to them over the internet and become friends. So a lot of that has to do with you know websites like that. Did you ever think you'd go from point A to point B so fast? Yeah, definitely not so fast. We all kind of like hoped it would get to this point. We just didn't know when it would. So um, I don't know we're really thankful to be where we are right now in such a short amount of time. Speaking of being where you are right now in such a short amount of time, how do you feel that your manager, Tim Kirch, has played an important role in the music? He's been working with like me, Garrett, and Pat played in Hill Bands before and he's always been kind of um, there for us, helping us out. And it's he's just helped us out kind of like with getting our, what was it, what was I say? Get our music out there and like have a foot in the door kind of there for us. It's easier to get on the shows that motor music a little bit better. As you guys know, being a band and you guys are somewhat young, you know, I mean, it's awesome that you guys are young, you guys have an awesome crowd, but anyways, um, you always know that there's going to be haters out there, no matter if it's because they think you're too young to have this much exposure, or they're just not going to like your type of music, they think that you're just a little boy band wanting to go punk or whatever it is. Um, how do you guys plan on dealing with that, and what do you have to say about that? I, I really don't think it's a problem, because there's always going to be people who, like, you know, disagree with what you're doing or don't like what you're doing. Um, I know that all five of us are wholeheartedly, you know, into what we do. So it's like, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, shake, shake the haters off. I don't know. It's, it's, yeah, I don't know. Dust, dust your shoulders off. In the words of Jay Z, we like what we're doing. So you know, there's gonna be people that like it, and there's gonna be people that don't like it. So just take it as it comes, I guess. So currently you guys have an EP out digitally. Um, it's called Stay Up, Get Down. All right. Um, I have a question. Why did you guys decide to go with Snowcap, and why did you decide to go digitally as opposed to the traditional release of a CD EP? Basically, we just wanted to get the music out to people as quickly as we could, and it was going to take us a while to get the final pressing of the CDs and get all the songs ready. So we're just doing a digital pre-release. has four songs. Um, the EP will have six. So we just wanted to get it out to people as quickly as we can so uh, people you know, can hear it. So when we're touring, people know all the songs. So as you know, thedailycourse.com dedicates itself to exposing up-and-coming music. Um, how do you think it plays an important role to bands like you and other bands out there? I think it plays like incredibly large role. It's helped us out a whole bunch. And I know that um, ju just being on like the top some 30 unsigned bands or something like that just to kind of check out if um, you haven't heard of them already. It's definitely helped us out a whole lot and we're really grateful to be a part of that and it's just nice because people will see that, check it out, and then maybe you know, check out our band or some other bands and um, I'll just kind of get the name out a little bit. Just like sites like Absolute Punk and all those kind of sites, like all of it helps, especially the Daily Chorus and exposing like only unsigned bands and stuff. It helps a lot. So have you guys seen like an increase in your daily plays or your downloads because yeah, of Yeah, no doubt, for sure. Well, that's good, because that's our main goal. So. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, yeah. What's the hardest thing about being a band? Everybody thinks that, you know, it might be glamorous or whatever, but what's what do you think is the hardest thing? Oh, I, I got this one. Uh, 
Um, I think, I don't know, uh, it takes up a lot of your time, like, we all have other things in our lives, but we definitely put an, an, enough of, uh, enough of it in the band, um, uh, th I think that's one of the, one of the main things is, is a lot of time. Kind of just the fact that we have to drop other things to be able to do the band, um, like if we want to go on this tour, you know, we have people that in the band that have to get out of high school and things like that, it's definitely like kind of hard for our parents and things like that just to get us out there i was just gonna say it's definitely a time consumption but at the same time it's kind of like this is what we want to do and we're 100 percent devoted so we we you know as much you know as much negative as there is there's a million times more positive so it's like it just it cancels it out so so what's the best thing about being part of the band I'm gonna go ahead and start off by saying just being with these dudes, like all the, you know, the amount of time that we're with each other. It's just, it's not like we're just like five, five. It's not like we're just five guys. Like, oh, I have to play with this guy today. It's like we're really good friends, so it's it, it makes that really really easy. But just meeting kids at, at shows and meeting all everyone in all the like the bands that we play with, and, yeah, and playing music every day. Even like affecting someone in a little bitter way, like uh, just at a show or whatever, like a kid singing along, like that, that's probably like the best feeling in the world. Like if you could ever have that, like it's amazing. So thank you guys. <laughs> you guys just chilling one day and you're like, hey, I want to sing. Um, <laughs> actually, our manager Tim Kirch is my best friend. So uh, it was really weird. I I don't know. We he was just like, you know, my my little brother's got a band and he needs a lead singer, and I was like give it a shot and these guys were already in a band before this so they kind of just that they were already together and then I just joined and then, and then he just kind of fell into place um, just came along for the ride so John didn't even know he could sing before like a, a week before this band even started so that was kind of just like a weird coincidence how everything kind of just like fell into place so it was, it was really good you know, this everything happened really quickly like the first time that John had ever sang, like with a band, was at our first practice, and we wrote one of the songs that like we have on our EP and stuff. Like the first day we had practice, so everything happened quickly. If you could have one, any power of a superhero, what would it be and why? Web shooting action. Done. <laughs> oh no, actually, no. I take that back. The ability to talk to dogs. I know this is pretty cliche, but I really want to fly. That'd just be awesome. You know? So that's that's yeah. <laughs> I know it's not talking to dogs. <laughs> uh, I would say fly too, but I, I'm afraid of heights. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say the web web shooting. I kind of wish I uh, had uh, Kennedy's power. He has like some superpower. He can like he can talk to everyone. Like yeah, <laughs> like he's he's like he's like best friends with like anyone that he's like never met. He just, you know what? It's awesome. And he's best friends with me. So. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's important. <laughs> What's one thing that nobody knows about you guys? Well, my middle name is Cornelius, <laughs> and I am the fifth of the John Cornelius O'Callaghan clan. I have really big ears. I know that. So I cover um, it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that big. Yeah, I have a yellow car. Yeah, it's, right. No, it's. I don't know. Uh, it's. I. I don't. Yeah, it's embarrassing. I sleep hanging upside down. Um, that's about all I got. My room looks like the uh, room from Anchorman, the girl who has like all the unicorns and crazy stuff like that. That's, that's, that's dodgeball, though. That's dodgeball. Oh well, <laughs> dodgeball is definitely how my room looks. So, a very, very serious question, and this serious question only goes to Ryan. So, have you ever entered any Bon Jovi look-alike contests? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I said this was a serious question. Tim, Tim Downer. Yeah. Um, Tim actually paid me a lot of money to ask that, so. Well, I want 50% of that. <laughs> um, no, but if there was one I knew about, I'd be in it. I personally want to know. How do you guys get into those jeans? Do you guys jump up and down? Do you guys lay down, suck they're in? Actually, I do if not. You, if you look, they're actually painted on. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> My mom actually applies a thin base coat before I go out. and then, This is actually not a real hole. 
Well, I want to thank you so much. And uh, you guys can check out The Main on Pure Volume or MySpace or, of course, thedailycourse.com, which is your daily source for new music. Thank you very much. Thank you.